Hello. In this session, I'm going to continue for the dummy variable in R an ARDL model and the error correction model. We have the data here, real GDP, inflation rate, unemployment, dummy variable, dummy for inflation, dummy for unemployment. And we open the data, as you can see it here. This is the data. As in the previous video, I discussed the IRDL model and the interpretation of IRDL model with the dummy variable. And now I'm going to continue to test error correction model in IRDL with dummy variable. So I'll go to quick estimate equation. This is the equation here. Real GDP, growth, inflation rate, unemployment, dummy, dummy for the regressor, inflation, and dummy for unemployment. So I'll go to IRDL model. I select one or two, say one, or two, let me put it two, and then we change the trend prediction to constant, everything is set up, click OK, this is the output for ARDR model, as you can see it here, and this dependent variable real GDP, method ARDL model and here the model selected method AIC and the dynamic regressor 2 lakhs automatic inflation rate unemployment rate dummy variable dummy for inflation and dummy for the unemployment and the selection selected model ARDL one for the dependent variable two for independent variable as you can see it inflation rate and zero for the unemployment rate two for the dummy variable and zero for inflation unemployment rate okay now after we find the output, here we can, we mentioned in the previous video, we explain these coefficient here as an ordinary least square interpretation and we concentrate on the dummy variable. You look to the dummy variable is significant and the dummy variable for the regressor, dummy variable for inflation, not significant, dummy variable for unemployment, significant. So we interpret these dummy variable according to the original dummy variable here and the coefficient here we explain it as the same the same as in the ordinary least square when we in interpret an inflation rate this is the coefficient not significant and the other variable remain constant and then we find the effect of inflation rate on the real GDP growth and so on and dummy variable we explained it before so here we have you can go to the previous video for IRDR model with dummy variable which is model 1 and then you can see the details for the uh, interpretation of the coefficient and the dummy variable the second step I'll go to view coefficient diagnostic to test the long run and short run coefficient or relationship we'll go to long run form and bond test click OK here you can see the error term 
which is the error correction term, ECM. And here you can look at the long run equilibrium, long run coefficient or variable. This is the coefficient. This is the probability. And then we explain one by one the effect of inflation on the real GDP per uh, growth as negative and not significant and unemployment rate is positive and significant which is against the economic theory and here dummy variable of in inflation rate significant and positive and this is the way of how to explain the dummy variable for unemployment negative and significant which is the influence of dummy variable of unemployment rate on the real GDP the dependent variable as we mentioned before okay this is here real GDP growth and then we we'll go to the long run we can see this is the value of F, F statistic even comparing with the upper as you can see it here with the upper bond if the F statistic is greater than the upper bond it means there is a relationship or uh, association between all the variable in the model the same thing you can test it for T T statistic we have an absolute value 5.77 which is greater than the upper and this means that the variable have a long run association ship. Now I'll go to the short run. How? I'll go to view, coefficient diagnostic, error correction, and here we are concentrating on this part here. We can see this part as you can explain it easily because the main thing is negative and statistically significant. So what does it mean? It means that the previous year's error will be corrected in the current year at a speed of adjustment of 82.49% or the adjustment of the whole system towards the equilibrium at the speed of 82.49% percent and it is negative and significant same here you can look to the every statistic as you mentioned before 8.90 which is greater than the upper bond we conclude that there is a long run association between the variable and the model and here we find there is a, a short run relationship or the adjustment or the speed of adjustment to the in the long run and this is the short run coefficient and this is the adjustment to the uh, to the long run and this part here the f statistic and even t bond test compare it with the upper if the F statistic uh, greater than the upper, we can say there is a association between the variable in the long run. And there is long run association. Then after that, we have to go for another test for diagnostic. I go to view residual diagnostic. First, I check selected serial correlation. Leave the lag as it is and you can see there is 75.10% which is observed R square corresponding to the p-value of chi square greater than 5% meaning that the model free from serial correlation because the, uh, the hypothesis is serial correlation has there is a, a serial correlation there is no serial correlation for the null hypothesis and the alternative there is a serial correlation so we have to accept null hypothesis in order to see the model is free from here, from the serial correlation which is here the second test is we'll go to view residual diagnostic heteroscedasticity 
and press OK you can see this is 21.50 which is greater than 5% the same as the hypothesis the hypo null hypothesis that there is no heteroscedasticity or there is homoscedasticity and the alternative there is uh, hetero there is heteroscedasticity so we, if we accept null hypothesis it means the model is free from heteroscedasticity the same will go for arch effect i'll go to residual heteroscedasticity test then select arch press ok 45.13 percent which is observed r square corresponding to the p value of chi square is greater than five percent meaning that we accept nil what is nil nil is the model free from arch effect and then we'll go to check for the residual for histogram or normality test we can see there is 30.74 percent jacabra probability test which is greater than five percent so the residual are normally distributed the last thing here we have to check for the stability of the model I'll go to view stability of diagnostic recursive estimate ordinary square only so we select your cosm test press OK you can see the blue line lying between the two five percent level so the model is stable <coughs> now I'll check for the cosm square we go to the stability diagnostic recursive estimate cosm of square test press ok you can see the blue line lying between the two percent five percent significant level so we conclude that the model is good so the model is free from serial correlation and free from heteroscedasticity and the model has no arch effect and the residual are normally distributed and then the model is stable and this is what we have to test for the IRDR model with error correction model to see the short run and long run association between the variable under study.